Okay, well, I harvested one of those cells off of those packs of bad cells. Um, these ultra rusted missing bad cells from discount laptop parts. Anyway, so this is the only one that I, I really see that doesn't have its wrapper affected and it actually looks like it's actually might actually be a fine okay battery. Um, outside of the bottom seems a little swelled. Don't know. Anyway, so best way to figure it out is test it with the multimeter but considering it was with a bunch of rusty leaky batteries there's a good chance that they drained any possible life out of this thing which means um, I still might end up with zero voltage or very low voltage uh, 0 0.88 voltage which would not take a charge um, luckily People that don't know this about the at least the new night cores. And if you give me a second, I'll whip that out for you and show you. If your batteries are sleeping and they're not taking charge or anything else, get this. This actually does wake up sleeping dead batteries. And I know this because I actually did it with two of these. They were at 0 0.70 volts, which obviously wouldn't read. And the other night core, it wouldn't read it. Um, hold on. There's the UM20 that wouldn't read it just showed up as error this one so you have to have your batteries in the right voltage anyways that does not mean that this battery is any good running with that many dead nasty batteries it's really hard for any battery to actually survive but Get one of these if you have a problem with a bunch of batteries that have gone into hibernation. Um, usually it will actually still wake them up. Uh, it, the other one sees, reads error, but this one registers the voltage and still somehow wakes them up. And I know that because, like I said, it woke two of those other batteries up when they were at 0 0.70. Which, on the other one, it showed up as just error. And it usually will show up as just error with pretty much every charger, except for some reason the night core. And I know that because I just put it in and it decided to take it. So this is at 0 0.88 volts. Well, at least there's some voltage on it. I mean, that's a bonus. I mean, it might actually be going up from finally being separated from a drain on it I don't know let's see if we've got any extra voltage now no but you know the thoughts nice all right let's see if I can put in a position you guys can read the voltage that's not really a yeah, anyway I hope you can read sideways Well, now it's saying 0 0.86. And... Anyway. So, the battery at least has some <coughs> voltage on it. <coughs> Definitely way below any safety for it. I mean, that's not class of safe. Let's try a rust bucket. That's all nasty rusty and everything there is no way on earth i would ever use this thing this is just for fun oh yeah there you go that's what kind of batteries we're looking for definitely
definitely garbage. And never mind. Yeah, we got one more cell that might actually possibly be. Anyways, I don't see the. Nope, no, there it is. There it is. And we're looking for the crap spot. Found it! Oh, that doesn't even read. <laughs> that doesn't read anything. Yeah. That's garbage. Hey, two cells in one. Let's see if we get anything. Oh, did I see a negative on there? <laughs> oh, I saw one pop up. And... Oh, this one actually... Yeah, okay, this one actually has got a non-rusted one next to it. Let's see if we can rip that off and get a voltage. And break off its little drainer next to it. I mean, I'm not really expecting anything, but you know, at least, at least we can say we did some experimental for whatever fun reason. Anyway, something like that. No, still zero. Yeah, just zero. Well, it's not rusted. Who knows? I'll try to wake it up. See if it works. It's at zero, but I'll try to wake it up anyway. Rust bucket. Hell, 22. Obviously, I can't use it because of the skin anyway. It's corroded away. Did I already... Yes, I already played with that one. Here's one I haven't played with. I mean, obviously, we're just having fun at this point because we already know they're all garbage. Check that out. Zero. Negative 0 0.3. See, there you go. Perfect example of a draining battery. This is the battery that sucks the life out of every other battery around it. There you go. I'm going to vamp your other batteries to death. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Because we're not in the business of charging batteries. I think I've already tested this one. I'm pretty sure I already tested this one. Yeah, I already tested this one. It's at zero. I already tested that one. Not sure. Let's check it anyway. Zero point one. It's not even sure about that. So it's probably more like zero point zero five. Next one. Point seven. Well, point six. No, point seven. It's right in between. So it's it's zero. It's point zero six five in reality. We're very close to it. And I'm pretty sure I already tested this battery, but for shits and giggles, let's look at it. What it said anyway. Oh. Maybe I haven't. Never mind. I haven't. Okay, 0 0.08. Apparently, this one's working through some rust issues. No, there's no rust on the top. So we clamp that down with a nice little tab right there. Keeps it right in right there. Anyway, I'm trying to find the non rust spot. And there we go 21. 22. Awesome. Okay, it's bouncing between. Awesome. So that's uh, 0 0.215. Or, yeah. Anyway, they're garbage. That was a bad battery. And that came from Discount Laptop Parts. There you go. This...
cover to it. Anyway, see all the rust spots in there. This was the laptop casing or battery casing. Uh, it was like a Lenovo or IBM. I think it was a Lenovo. Anyways, came from discount laptop parts on eBay. And this video really is actually for you at discount laptop parts. I know you guys say tested, but I don't believe you. And it's looking at this battery and its internal components, knowing there is no way that this would have charged anything, anywhere, or whatnot. It would have never accepted a charge. I don't believe you guys about tested. So, this is the second battery that has been non-accepting, obviously. Here's the first one. You guys already refunded this one. Um, this was for my personal laptop. The rest, I actually collect the cells and harvest the cells. I buy good batteries, good used batteries to harvest the cells. This was not a good battery and I've ended up with others that was way below voltage for safety at all and they wouldn't have even accepted a charge from the computer anymore so um, yeah that's who this video really is actually for and I gave a suggestion with a night core but these this is actually for you guys and it's, it's not okay that this is going on uh, I've ended up with two, three other batteries that was, one was way below voltage, and it, but it still would have accepted a charge, just like the laptop battery that actually did work for my laptop. But the other two, they wouldn't have. They were literally, they had ones at 0 0.73 volts. That is not even close to okay those that's when those cells get that low that's actually damaging them there's a good chance that those batteries are actually ruined and won't hold a voltage for very long or even drain voltage these ones were leaky this one uh broke obviously there's one that broke in there and just created havoc caused another one to start leaking caused another one to go caused another one to go and you know what i've got two batteries that look like they aren't rusted or broken open but they are so low a voltage that it's not even worth really thinking about ones at zero voltage there is no voltage in one of those and the other one it's at 88 or 8 uh, point 0 0.88 or 0 0.86 that's not okay. Those wouldn't. Those. This is not a good battery. This is a very bad battery. I like to buy good batteries to harvest cells because I like to have good cells. I don't like to buy bad batteries. And yet, I have bought a lot of batteries from you, but they are not. They're not any good. A lot of them, they are not any good, and they might look pretty on the outside, but they're not you guys aren't testing them you're saying you're testing them but you don't test them there's no way you're testing them bye